The Baltimore Ravens travel to Tampa to face the Bucks on Sunday. Baltimore is a three and a half point favorite on bet deck, 43.5 the total in this game. This is definitely one of those where it feels like you're being baited into betting on one side. In this case, that would be the Baltimore side. After all, the Ravens have just been better than the Bucks this season. They have a better record, they've scored more points, allowed fewer points, gained more yards, allowed fewer yards, they've done better against the spread, they've just been better. So it's not a surprise that with Baltimore as a short favorite here, they've been a very popular public bet out in Vegas. As of the recording of this video, about 70% of the public money at the six largest sports books out in Vegas has been coming in on the Ravens. And as we said, it is easy to see why. You look at Tampa, they've only won one game this season. They rank 30th in both total offense and total defense. They've been especially bad on defense. The Bucks, 30th in total defense, 31st in points allowed. They're surrendering 31.2 points per game. Only Jacksonville worse in that category. Certainly very surprising considering Lovey Smith, a defensive guy. He's built good defenses everywhere he's been, and he inherited some talent in Tampa. So many people, myself included, thought that Lovey Smith was going to come in and turn this into a good defense in pretty short order, and that has not happened. And they are facing a Baltimore offense in this game that is top 10 in total yards per game this season, so you'd think the Ravens would be able to move the ball in this spot. Now, if you have faith in Tampa here, you must have faith in their quarterback, Mike Glennon. Ever since Glennon's come into the lineup, the Bucs have been much better on offense. Two weeks ago, they won their only game of the season over Pittsburgh, and last week they went into New Orleans and took the Saints to overtime. Glennon playing well in both of those games, and, this ga and in this game, he'll be facing a Baltimore secondary that has not been good this season. They rank 29th against the pass. Glennon certainly surrounded by plenty of skill position talent down there in Tampa, so Bucks betters here probably believe that Glennon is going to have a lot of success against that Baltimore secondary and sort of carry them to victory. I must admit, I am not quite there with Mike Glennon and this Tampa offense. Don't quite have the belief. You look at the last two games, yes, they've played better. Yes, Glennon has played well. They face two bad defenses. The Pittsburgh Steelers do not have a good defense this season, and the Saints might have the worst defense in the league. Baltimore, even though they have struggled against the pass, they've been good on defense as a whole. They've been very good against the run. I think they're going to turn this Tampa offense into a bit, of, a bit more of a one-dimensional attack than they would like. And I do believe Baltimore is going to win this game. So I'm taking the bait here. I lean towards Baltimore minus three and a half, even though, as we said, it is a very popular public play. Wouldn't shock me if the Bucks pulled out the outright win here. But as I said, not quite there yet with Mike Glennon and this Tampa offense. So I look for Baltimore to win this one.